What is going on everybody? It is Craig and I'm back with movie number 49. Okay, well, we're getting there. Scared to Death from 1981. Every now and then there's an old 80s movie that, I don't know, somehow slips through the cracks for me. Something I just, I, I haven't seen. And oddly enough, my, a couple of my boys have the mask of the creature from this movie. And I, I guess I never I never realized that. I thought it was a, a one of one, um, a unique piece, the Sinjinor. Um, I, I didn't know it was based on an actual movie co uh, character, and it was. So he's scared to death. I won, I am a sucker for 80s. Uh, that is why I think Tubi is awesome. That Tubi has some really good 80s sections, especially with horror. And regarding the, the, the scared to death, it, it was a typically, typical 80s movie in the way it was shot. Um, you know, there is a, a topless scene in the first couple of minutes, and then you do have a kill in the first couple of minutes, old man, up that way. I don't know overall. This is a weird movie for me to review. 80s, yeah, I'm in. 80s nostalgia, I love it. Especially, you know, not movies faking it today that are trying to be 80s based, but movies that are actually from the 80s. And... There were times where the director or, or cinematographer, whomever, really was brilliant in the way they shot stuff. Like, that doesn't almost belong in a movie like this. You know, especially when you consider the lighting was off. But I get that, you know, the idea of the darkness to keep the creature a little more mysterious. But they, there was a couple of scenes. Like, there was one in a parking garage where the, the girl was vibrating and she was caught... But it's like they, they shot back and forth from different perspectives. You know, they built up suspense. They're really, really nice. And they did that a couple of other, other times. So I remember thinking, wow, this, this type of photography doesn't seem appropriate for this type of movie. Now, the movie itself, though, like the creature of cool, creature of badass, um, as my boy Stephen Barry would say. Um, I, I don't know if I try to find the mask because they tell me the one they have is quite is rare. So, But it, it is neat. I got, you know, it's... At first, I was going to accuse this of being a Chud ripoff because they do eventually find him in the sewer. Um, but it, 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 it were even ramp like. Um, but Chud was made several years after, so I guess Chud was potentially inspired by this, or maybe Alligator. You know, the idea of the thing in the sewer. Um, and obviously, I think Chud did a lot better. Not much to say for Chud too, but the Chud that was horrendous. But anyway. This movie, it, it was it was good for what it was. Um, you know, the creature was cool. There was some tense moments. The the storyline was somewhat, you know, like all of a sudden he go he bumps into a girl's car and then when they're dating and then or they, then they're hooking up then she's working with him then she gets killed or well, not killed she's in a comatose state and she does come back at the end but there just didn't seem to anyone who, anyone who seems to care about that no real emotional anything so you know I get why they included the Included the love interest, and they had to have another hookup scene with them and all that, but it definitely seemed a little out of place given the acting and everything else. As far as how they killed the creature, that was kind of neat. You know, they got him to be in the one spot he could be in, and then they could hit down the buttons, and it could smash down on him and all that. Like, you know, so that was fun. Of course, they showed you earlier there were a bunch of babies, and he only shot a couple of them, so, I mean, there was Sinjinoa's. I was told by my buddies that I have to watch Sinjin Noise. They said, Betty, see so you want more of the creature. We'll see. I mean, I, I guess it has to be better because I'm not, even though I got my 80s nostalgia, even though I got a cool creature, um, you, you would think I'd be like, oh, I'm giving this a five, definitely worth it. I can't give it a five. I'll give it a four and a half. Um, I'll give it a four and a half. And for, for a movie like that, it was, it was, I'm glad I saw it. I'm glad it, it, it no longer became something I didn't see, but. It, it's almost like it had a lot of good pieces of different movies. You know, I think they could have I picked one lane. And then it could actually have been a really, a really high quality film. Um, as is, even though it's a 4 or 5, I still think it's worth a watch. I just, I, you know, I, I'm weird when it comes to my scoring system, when it comes to 80s films. You know, even the ones that aren't that great, I still love the hell out of sometimes. So, you know, if you haven't seen it, and you are my age, watch it. This is definitely one of those 80s movies, though, if you're, um, um, you know, a Gen, a Gen Z uh, horror fan nowadays, you'd watch it and you'd, you'd check out right away. You'd hate it right away. So, 
If you're an old man like me, watch it if you haven't seen it, definitely. So maybe that explains the 4 or 5. It's not a universal grade. But anyway, folks, load number 49. Maybe Sinjin Oars will be number 50. I don't know. I got to see if that's available or not. But either way, once we hit 50, we are, for the first time since I started this odd series, we are ahead of schedule. But anyway, till next time, folks. Peace.